Hello and welcome again. In this video, we're going to use the PuttyGen utility to create a key pair, which we can use to SSH into a Linux machine. In order to do that, we're going to load the Putty KeyGen utility. We're going to select this specific option here, which is the most secure key at the time of this video. We're going to click on Generate. And then we're going to move our mouse in this area so it gives us some randomness. And we have the key pair created. Now, in order to use the key pair, we have to save the private key. We have the option here to use a key phrase, which will be required every time you uh, log into the server using SSH. It's going to prompt you for the key pair. But we also have the option to leave it blank. If you're using a local machine, which you don't really care too much about security because it's only you and your network, then you can not specify a key, a key passphrase. However, if you are using a SSH a key in a cloud environment or in some other private network that is not yours, then you definitely want to use a, a key passphrase. So we're going to select save private key. And as you can see here, it's prompting you to uh, save the key without a passphrase. passphrase. And so we're going to select yes. And we're going to call it private underscore 2023. You can give it any name. It doesn't matter. It's going to have a PPK extension. I'm going to save it. And then this portion here at the top is what you're going to need in order to uh, add it to your Linux server. So we want to copy this information and save it in Notepad or any other plain text editor. And we're going to save it. We're going to call it public underscore. 2023. It's going to have a TXT extension for this plain text. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use this information to uh, add it to the Linux server. So in Putty, I'm going to load my pre built uh, virtual machine. I'm going to put my user, which is developer in this case, and my password. And if you do a listing in this directory, which is the home directory for the user, as you can see, we're going to create in here a directory called .ssh. And we're going to give it permissions of 744. And then we're going to go inside that directory. And we're going to create a file. It's going to be called authorized underscore keys. And in that file, we're going to insert the information for the public key. We're going to save it. And now we can test it to see if it works. So let's go back to Putty. And we're going to load a new session. But before we can do that, we're going to have to define the settings here under connection. Under data, we're going to put the username, which is developer. And then under SSH, auth, and credentials, we're going to select here the private key that we saved earlier. So we put in this directory, we're going to select it, select OK. 
And before clicking open, we're going to go back and save the session with the new settings. And now, if we click open, as you saw, it logged us in without prompting us for a password. I hope this is useful for all of you watching. And feel free to click like on the video and to subscribe so you can get new content when it becomes available. Thank you all for watching.